Hey, Dave. Hey, we're back. We're back. Yeah. And the spirit of this show is evolving to like little single serving things. And the single mm-hmm. serving thing today is styling scroll bars. Cause it's like this thing in, in like web design or to me, it feels like not optional. Sometimes there's like some mm-hmm. UIs with little scrollable areas in it that mm-hmm. like, they like have to be styled. Like even in like our discord, like discord has this default gray background stuff and there's yep, scrollable yep. areas all flipping over it all over. Mm-hmm. There's like the three sidebar, major the ones. main content, yeah. the, uh, whatever, right. what, 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 any fly out that shows up. Yeah. yeah. Like the people in the room on the right fly outs, modals yeah. even that come up in the default look. And I think this is probably like this on windows too. It's like a white bar, right? Like just, it's a white yeah. flipping bar, unless you're in dark mode, I guess, but it's like by default, it's like the yeah, white bar. It, you know, on windows, it's kind of not optional or there, there's, a property you can actually set to like kind of would you kind of mess with it but yeah uh but they're very visible in windows and i think mac people very much miss out on that <laughs> like because we have the invisible scroll bars kind of yeah by default mac. there are scr- you know so there's that thing so, i'm not even going to share the preferences but you know what i mean where like there's a setting in system preferences where you can make them visible or not by default mm-hmm. and there's there's kind of like that general piece of advice that you should always you should say that always on because some people have it on and then you'll know how ugly your interfaces look with it look here's one on code pen a little scroll bar if that yeah. was a white blob i think that would look flipping awful on code pen that would be bad yeah i just think it aesthetically would look bad maybe usability is fine or, or something but aesthetically it looks bad i think even in this case we're not using CSS. In fact, because the, the library code mirror has its own little way of handling that because it knew that it was such an important aspect of dealing with it. These mm-hmm. days, though, the story is a little bit better. So let's dig into that a little bit. I'm going to use my little my center trick. Um, let's make this div like white. I think, you know, just, I think that'll just be easier to see if we kind of scope this thing a little bit, like width, a hundred pixels, height, a hundred pixels. So there'll be just this white blob sitting in the middle. Then we can scroll it. Um, do you ever do this? Like fake hunt? <laughs> is that, is that kosher these days? Cause I put a dash in it. <laughs> um, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That means it's a web component. So there you go. Right. I, I like, don't feel bad about it anymore. So the height there is going to kick. Ooh, why didn't it work? Do I have to go overflow auto? Auto is the nice one that means have a scroll bar if it overflows. Well, yeah. that's not, that's not being cool in there. It does not. Um, yeah, why are you being weird? That you have to like, you shouldn't have to register it, but. Um, that, no, because I just played care. with this. Yeah, it really shouldn't. I was just playing with this earlier and that's the trick I used. So I was going to like run it by you to be like, look at it, it has a height of 500 pixels. Oh, I know it's not display block. They're, oh. um, it's they're, uh, inline, inline by, default. by default. You have to do okay. that with your web components too. All right. There's a scroll bar. Let's make it yeah. this a little bigger or something just to see. So the question is, I don't want it to be white. I want it to be dark. Cause maybe my, maybe I just care a lot. You know, we mm-hmm. just covered accent color. Why can't that be that color? The trick is I'm in Chrome here, so it's kind of it's like there's just a couple to um to mess with. Where's my little I thought I made a little something something here. I need to uh reference WebKit scroll bar. That's it. Background that's, that's it. Red. Look at oh my god. Yep. That's crazy. There's also um like a track or Web something kit thumb yeah track i believe yeah yeah sorry here i'm just uh i gave myself a little cheat sheet and then i lost it that's a little behind the scenes stuff for you there for a moment but i just wanted to like have done this once is it thumb let's just try it real quick while i while i do multiple things oh yeah, yeah there I, we go that's I it i literally look. have it right here i was just but look at like it. Isn't that nice? Scroll like, bar thumb, yeah. Like it See, looks that's a little... like already better. Like if if you're running a gaming website, right? You gotta have gamer red, gamer black. <laughs> already, yeah. This is you urgent. You know, you do. What's interesting to me is that they don't like a, the regular scroll bar. Like, do I have a? I have, 
I have CSS tricks open here, which is fine. I have a styled one, so that doesn't count. Let me open up some other thing here. I have another reference open. That's just a, the default scroll bar. But you see there's space around the thumb. Isn't it yeah, weird to you that they don't rock the space with just yeah, changing the colors? You change a color and it tells the scroll bar, like, just eject. Like, yeah. So, yeah. so you can do, let's see if we just make it a lot. It'll just, like, round as much as it can. Mm -hmm. So if you really want the space, you could kind of do, like, what would you do? Border two picks solid red or like match the same color yeah it's Ooh, weird that it's thicker on the left side yeah, yeah why did it do that i don't know oh. this isn't my favorite thing to do but uh, uh that kind of works or i guess you could set set it to transparent transparent and then how do you cut off the background again like background clip border box or something content box Will that even work? Oh yeah, that worked. Hey, you know okay. how you like don't color yeah. the outsides. Yeah, Is that yeah, more okay. centered? That's a little more centered. It yeah. looks like it's actually more centered. Huh. Okay, well that's the right way to do that then. Um, that's fairly satisfying. But let me. Um, I'm going to open up Firefox because this. Notice, like, look at what we're already doing. WebKit proprietary stuff. Did I launch? Did I go for? anything standardized no because this is the only way to do it and both are both safari and chrome mm -hmm. so like that's all mm -hmm. you got they support nothing else i'm sure you know the way css moves these days it'll probably like start working and like <laughs> you know overnight yeah. or something but there is standardized ways of doing this but let me just change what i'm sharing right quick okay i'm sure you won't mind huh i'm gonna look at a little firefox action here which is a lovely browser as well. I have the scroll bar crap in here and guess if it's black and red. No, it flipping isn't, right? Because of it's course, not? why would, yeah. why would you anything need separate be easy? properties for, for the other browsers? But it's not like Moz, you know? Okay. It's just they happen to support what the standardized syntax of it is. And it's no longer pseudo elements like this. It's just actual CSS properties. And it happens oh. to be pretty nice. It's just scroll bar color. So if I just go scroll bar. Hold on, I can't see it yet. I can't see it yet. Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. Firefox. Firefox not here, colored. Here, here. And then I jumped ahead. I'm sorry. I'm the worst sharer. It's just a property. So scroll bar color. And then you have to give it two. Two? And hey. That's like better, right? So that's in Firefox and it looks pretty much the same as the other one. And it does, it, it lets the color seep through on the sides, which I think is kind of better. Admittedly, it's a little um, more limited, like a mm -hmm. lot, like a lot more limited. There's mm -hmm. very little you can do here. And like, there, there's like basically one other thing, scroll bar width thin, which is like the only option. It's thin or nothing. Thin you want the thinny? <laughs> pretty, pretty much. Thin or nothing. Uh, all so. right. That's it. Uh, that's all that's, you can do. Okay. That's I mean, it. I guess we could try it. Should we try something weird? Gradient. I don't know. Okay. Red, black. Is that going to do it? There's no way. No, nah, it doesn't let you play at all. Yeah. Whereas like the Chrome might let you because it's like a actual background paint. Yeah. For okay. sure. But this is, you might as well use this. I think it's classier to just leave it. I think this is better anyway. It reminds mm -hmm. me of accent color, you know, like just le just like color it and leave it alone. Otherwise, don't go That's, too crazy balls with it. I think, yeah, like you're getting like a lot of value for one lot, like one line of CSS, one value prop, you know, key value pair. I yeah. Think that's yeah. Like, and it's not weird. It's just scroll bar color, rock and roll. That's where you start, I think, because that that makes, I don't know, the 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 WebKit thumb stuff has always sort of struck me as kind of this weird mm, yeah I don't know, like, like i'm doing this for you webkit you know and it just so happens chrome inherited it and things right. like that but pretty much pretty um, much there's a couple of caveats let's continue to look at it but for just a second we finally got our first sponsor on the show which is elastic yeah. so so pretty sweet the url you want to go to is elastic.co slash shop talk and that'll get you here they're having a conference and it's coming up super soon so check this out it's their biggest conference and it's free so it's pretty 
lightweight to deal with, right? Elastic is makes Elastic Search, which is like even behind the scenes powers the search of CSS tricks because that's what Jetpack's thing uses. It's power. We use Elastic Search for all the search at CodePen, so it's like a kind of an awesome product that we rely on heavily. But it's not. It's like for search, but you can build other products on top of it being a powerful search-based database, like like spam filtering, all kinds of interesting stuff. But the point is, Elastic On is Elastic On Global is the name of the conference. It's designed for you, the people who are solving the world's most complex problems using the power of search. Like I said, this is a true fact. And the power of search is what enables you to protect and defend your entire digital ecosystem. Hear from industry experts. Uh, elastic product teams and your peers about how you can take your skills and organization search observability and security capabilities capabilities to a whole new level. Register for free at elastic.co/shoptalk. Very cool. Thanks for the sponsorship, Elastic Search. Thank you. Uh, okay, so here's a caveat. Like, what wh what if we had horizontal scroll bars too? Like super califragile. You know, like a long word that's definitely going to mm -hmm. be a longer than a hundred pixels. Ooh, there we go. So that's cool. That one style, Ooh. but there's this little nubby. Yeah, How I, feel, I feel like the nubby is is relevant here to deal with. Um, is the is there <laughs> the WebKit nubby? Is oh, that in the spec? Dave, Dave. is. WebKit yes. nubby? Yeah. Well, here, it's it's almost WebKit nubby. In fact, guy. we should almost write a post CSS plugin just for this. WebKit, scroll bar, no, no. It's called <laughs> uh, corner. corner. But still. Boo. 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 <laughs> it's still there, though. There's... How did I screw oh, really? that up? But it... Scroll bar, did I spell it wrong? Paste. No. There's so many cool words you could do there. Graveyard, nubby, um... Dead zone. Uh, yeah, keep going. Um, Why don't I? Uh, uh, collision detection, uh, intersection. I guarantee observer. this works. Div, two colons, webkit scroll bar corner. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. Look at that. Oh. I had to like mouse over it. There's a good example of like, okay, this thing hasn't been specced for a hundred years. Why, so why, why pseudo elements yeah, are not you gotta, the future? <laughs> yeah. You yeah. got to mouse over it to get it to freaking appear. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. So that kind of works. But the point is you can get weird with this if you want to. Like, look at like 50 pixels or something. Oh. Ooh. All right. I kind of like that. That's pretty juicy. I yeah, like I used it. to have a really beefy one on CSS I, tricks and everybody yelled at me for it, but I thought it was cool. And now I kind of can, minimized it. Can I go kind of naughty? Can you make Im make it an image, a background image? Like, could I have a cat head be my, like, oh, I don't know. Scroll bar thumb? Oh, no. oh, you know what? I can just search right in here. Let's just, of course, we need to try this. Yeah. Uh, photos. Or just cat yeah. head. Oh, my God. Oh, well. Copy as a background, small, sure. Okay, yeah, and then that's put it on this. Frightening, or uh, put it on the the thumb. Oh my god, look at it! Oh, Absolutely wait. works. Can you put it on the thumb? I just want the thumb to be weird. Yeah, we'll get rid of oh, that. Oh god, weird background size, contain or whatever background. Uh, cover, I guess. Will cover? that? Oh my god. Cool. Spooks, I think contain though. might even be better because then you'll see the whole crazy face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want. That, yeah, yeah. That's 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 what I want. That's why I have Sean's site open because he's got crazy barber pole heart oh, weirdness. You know, that's see, kind that's of fun. fun. And I just try to do it, attempt to do it classy style. But see, that type of stuff, you're only going to do it through the pseudo elements. So if you love yeah. that, which sounds like you kind of love that, too bad for the most part. Like I would almost encourage you to not do this stuff and just replicate essentially what the spec version can do. Well, you're not the president of the internet, so <laughs> I'm going to commit CSS crimes. So, yes. no, but no, Here's I definitely, the spec is better than the uh, other one. I, I just went through this thing. I, I was building like an app, you know, and yeah. it's kind of the app frame and it's like got the scroll bar sidebar and the main panel that also has a sidebar or a scroll bar, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, so scroll bars are going to happen in the application. And yeah. I, I was just like, well, if they're gonna happen it's gotta look cool like it's gotta be a little bit better than the default it's gotta feel on brand it's gotta feel cool 
Uh, it definitely has to have like a murder cat, <laughs> <laughs> whatever that guy is. Uh, uh, oh my God. That's so funny. Creeping people out. Um, yeah, but, but so anyway, I, I think, but I, I really like this. Uh, I like this, this sort of future one because more often than not, it's just like brand color, you know, background. Yeah. Brown color. Gray, gray Let me just cover real quick color, that you, sh- you should, dark too. If you're going to do it on the whole document, you do it on the HTML tag. We just did it here just for fun, but that's the the kind of place to do it there. It, it, it makes me think that, that maybe you should do it on the star because like then everything that ever scrolls will get it. I don't know how. That's what I that? did it on, on mine. So yeah. it was like star box sizing and then star WebKit scroll bar. Scroll yeah, you rock down. them on the star. I think that seems fair because like if you're going to do it, you probably want them all the same anyway. So just do it up, you know. But that yeah. I'd like to end with this idea. This is from the Accent Color article from web.dev, which we should have probably brought up in the Accent Color one. But he's saying, you know, so there's Accent Color. Use this custom property here, right? But while you have that custom property that's your brand color, rock it on your scroll bar too. Rock it on your focus styles. Rock it on your selection. Rock it on your markers. You yeah. know, I think that looks, that's great. You know, that's how you get a freaking pink triangle on the details element. That's the yeah. marker. That's amazing. And I feel like that really, it like, just like looks good. Let's see. But they, I think in WebKit here, he didn't bother to put the, the styled scroll bars here. He just used the spec version, and I respect that. You know, like, All right, just, yeah, eh. they got they got a fit. They can't do murder cats, so they got a high. <laughs> but look at those focus states too. Like you could do like outline, like on yeah. focus visible and stuff like that too. Like now that we have access to that, uh-huh. uh, is that what they're doing there? Focus right. visible, yeah, yeah, like. Go really big with your focus visibles because that's all keyboard, right? Like, yep. So you can go really, really big. Yeah, with if those. I just right, absolutely. Anyway, love that styled scroll awesome. bars. You can go murder cat, but don't probably. But don't. or unless you're Dave and it's really a gaming website, and then go for it because who cares? <laughs> Do websites need to look the same in all browsers? No, no, maybe with scroll bars because it's like an accessibility feature. I don't know. Like and subscribe.